Hi, I'm Rick Streaker. Welcome to the Packard Academy. In this segment, we're going to be discussing silicone nitride and silicone carbide igniters. The igniters are referred to as hot surface igniters. That's because the actual surface of the igniter becomes extremely hot when igniting the gases in the furnace. It will become white hot, actually glow white. You'll notice that there's a big difference in the packaging between these two igniters. This is a silicone nitride igniter. The igniter in this packaging is a silicone carbide. The carbide igniter is packaged in foam because it is fragile. It can easily be broken if handled improperly. This is the silicone carbide igniter. The carbide igniter is sensitive to touch, not only in terms of breakage, but also in terms of the oils on your fingers. By touching the surface of the igniter, leaving that oil residue on the surface will make that vulnerable to failure at those locations. Do not see the same issues with the silicone nitride igniter. It's much more durable and not as sensitive to touch. When I touch this at this point, I make that more vulnerable. Now again, this is much more brittle than what the nitride igniter is. And it's very easy to break these while installing. So with the carbide, take special care in handling in order to break, uh, in order to avoid breaking. The, the igniters uh, are rated in voltage. Use the appropriate voltage as is required in the furnace. If the furnace requires a 120 volt igniter, do not put an 80 volt igniter in its place. If it calls for an 80 volt igniter, do not put a 120 volt igniter in its place. Now you may find that you'll have a cross reference that will show a carbide igniter as well as a nitride igniter. And it is okay to put the nitride igniter in place of the carbide igniter. Please visit our website, www.packardonline.com, for additional training opportunities.